resign just re reform a so-called political party and mashallah he's been quite influential since so labor and conservative let's inshallah. give a round of applause Boy to amar anwar Assalamualaikum, Reverend So. As you all know, this is my home. I was born in this village. I have lived in this village. I will die in this village, inshallah. Two years ago, you guys put your faith in me and elected me. <laughs> Two years ago, you guys put your faith and trust in me and elected me as your representative. Six months ago, after October the 7th, we all know what's been going on. Through our social medias, through our media outlets. I was contacted by so many people via WhatsApp, via email, asking me to resign. My answer to them was simple. I'm staying in the party and fighting. After six emails to our national leader, Kia Sama, there was no reply. Our local leadership, who is a, a Labour leader in Kirklees, there was no support from her, none at all. There were 17 Muslim councillors, any one of them on the 17th of January could have done what I did, but they never did. May Allah give them a diet, that's all I can say to them. Now I'll tell you two stories from Palestine that really touched me. One was in November. As we all know, dunya means the world. There was a seven-year-old whose house was bombed. She lost her leg in that bombing. When she was interviewed by Al Jazeera the very next day, they asked her, what do you want to do when you grow up? She said, well, first, I want to grow up. And second, I want to be a doctor or a nurse so I can help others. Three days later, the IDF bombed that hospital and they killed Dunya. I myself have a five-year-old daughter. That touched me dearly. The second story, which was recently, where a mother, has it gone off? No. Where a mother spent thousands of pounds on IVF, a Palestinian mother. She had two twins in October. A rocket hit their house recently. Many of you that follow me on social media, you must have seen it, I've shared it. She lost both her twins in that rocket attack. So these are some of the atrocities our Muslim Christians are facing in the Holy Land of Palestine. There was no Israel 76 years ago it was the Holy Land of Palestine where the Muslim and the Jewish and the Christian community all live together. Now, the mainstream parties support a two-state solution. I don't. I will never support that. I am supporting a one-state solution, the Land of Palestine. One democratic elected government. That is my view. Inshallah, I will be contesting for the Butler and Dewsbury parliamentary seat. I want all of your support on my side. When I go into parliament, hand in hand with George Galloway, this will be my opening statement, people of Ravenso. I am going to be your strongest voice in that house. If I can rock the chambers in Kirklees, I'm sure I can rock the parliament. Coming back to this May's local elections, we've got an independent movement that was started well before I resigned, so I want to clarify it. I did not start that movement. It was started day after the 7th of October. There were certain people, certain candidates that are here, they started that movement. 
it's their movement, I'm supporting their movement all the way. On the May of the 2nd, send a message to the Conservative Party, send a message to the Labour Party, they can no longer bank on the Muslim vote. They've used us, they've used us for many, many years. Three million lives in Iraq and Afghanistan, and now the Palestinian people. Today is the Palestinian people, tomorrow it will be the Kashmir people. We all belong to Kashmir, yeah, majority of us do. So when they're going to Kashmir, are you still going to continue voting Labour? Wake up guys, wake up, wake up. If this year you do not wake up, I'm afraid to say you will not wake up on the Day of Judgment. And on that note, from the river to the sea, Palestine will be free. Thank you very much Raven Soap. Thank you, Councillor Manuel. Very heart touching. We've got for May the second. Tanisha Bromwell, guys, give me up for her. <laughs> um, I've got no speech prepared because I wasn't supposed to be speaking tonight. Um, because I don't want to stand here as a political face at all. That's not why I'm here. I'm not here for any political stance whatsoever. I'm here because I'm, I'm non-Muslim. When I turn my TV on every single night and I see the atrocities taking place, I can't sleep. My mother can't sleep. October 7th was not the first time Palestine has been attacked. This has gone on for over 75 years. And one thing that I can see in the crowd tonight is young people, the youth. And every single one of you right now has the capacity and the ability to raise awareness with your mobile phones. That's something that we didn't have 70 years ago. Every single one of you has a platform and we need to be utilising them platforms. We need to be making sure that we're raising awareness and continue talking about these atrocities. We cannot stay quiet. We are in March. The October 7th attacks happened months ago, over 150 days of torment and it's not the first time, and if this continues, it won't be the last. So keep raising your voices and keep having conversations, and well done for being here, so give yourselves a round of applause.